Hey, it's Mike over at FishYourAssOff.com and today what I'm talking about is I'm answering a question that's a pretty popular one. It is, what is the best tide for snook fishing? So I'm going to go over because there's some different uh, answers to that depending on the time of year. Um, basically depending on the time of the year. Uh, but when it comes to snook, snook are one of those fish that you have to have a moving tide for. So during the ebb tide, you know, the transition between low and high and high and low, uh, you're not going to get any bites from snook. In fact, you know, just about every fish is like that, except that it seems like mangrove snapper don't seem to care very much. They'll bite during the ebb, uh, ebb tide pretty readily. But let's just go ahead and cover it. Let me show you what I'm talking about here. Okay, what is the best tide for snook fishing? Well, it's going to be the first part of the outgoing tide that's the answer to that most of the time and when you think about this it makes a lot of sense right so here's the incoming tide ebb tide outgoing tide you're talking about inshore species of fish a snook and, and most of the other ones too the tarpon the trout uh, redfish whatever uh, think about it you know you have all this water flow flows inshore there on the flats and oyster bars or whatever whatever spoil islands wherever you are in florida the, that area it goes in there all this water and then you have this mass of water that comes back out into the ocean or gulf of mexico well of course that's going to grab prey items for these predators so it's going to wash out crabs and shrimp and and small fish and just all these other things that these uh, uh predators are going to feed upon so snooker especially like that so that is the answer most of the time it's going to be the first few hours of the outgoing tide it's also better for you to catch them because of the fact that the water's dirtier so you can take advantage of what they're trying to take advantage of so predators want to hide in the shadows and wait for something to come by you know they like that murky water because their senses are better than their prey item senses so it gives them an advantage where it's real hard for a snook to sneak up on something when the water is crystal clear they can see them so it helps the predators too the murky water does so it all really makes sense on why the outgoing tide works the best most of the time now the incoming tide works just fine too so if you're fishing an inlet for instance you might want to use a live bait or something on the incoming tides uh, because it's a natural bait it's harder to fool a snook with a flare hawk jig or something like that when the water is crystal clear and beautiful conversely on the outgoing tide the water is murky and gross they're much easier to fool so the answer to what tide is is the best tide for snook fishing it's going to be the first few hours of the outgoing except <laughs> of course there's a clause right there's a catch in the winter time so in the winter months uh you know remember snook are a very cold water intolerant species they like water temperatures basically 74 75 and above they're a tropical species so that's why they're mainly a florida fish i mean they nowadays the waters are getting a little warmer they, they catch, catch them in jacksonville and uh you know cedar key pensacola things like that but they have to leave they can't stay there for the winter because they'll freeze they, you know once the water gets 60 degrees or so they're gonna die if it stays that that way so they have to leave so in the winter months it's different the waters in the gulf of mexico and the waters in the atlantic ocean are warmer so if the water inshore is cold the warm water coming in from the gulf or the Atlantic Ocean are going to make them feed more readily oftentimes on the incoming tide this is especially true when they're around the inlets and and you know cuts between islands and such on the on the Gulf Gulf Coast so the inlets on the East Coast and the cuts between the islands and the inlets on the Gulf Coast too uh, it's going to make a little bit better feeding for them based on water temperature so I know that might be confusing so the best best tide is typically going to be the first part of the outgoing most of the time until it's really cold so depending on where you are in florida january february maybe december when the water temperatures start getting colder 
it's going to be the incoming part of the tide that's going to be best just based on water temperature not those other factors because it's still going to be cleaner water most of the time so i hope that answers that question uh what's the best tide for snook fishing i hope that clears it up so till next time we'll see you then all right bye bye